Hi everyone, I'm Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Welcome back to your Beginner for Pilates series. This is session three today. So in this session, we're going to build upon those foundational tips and exercises we learned from session one and two. So that was our breathing, finding our core connection, neutral spine, optimal alignment of our head, neck and shoulders. So really just building upon all of that today, making it more of a flow, more of a strength-based session, but definitely still beginners. So perfect for beginner level, or maybe you're just getting back into exercise after a little break, or maybe if you've had an injury and just had a little bit of a, a moment there that you need to just come back to basics. So let's get started. You won't actually need any props today, just your mat. So make sure you can see me and then join me on your mat when you're ready. Okay, so stand up for me and then walk to the end of your mat, facing inwards with your feet about hip distance apart here, relaxing those arms down by your side and just standing in that posture that you feel is appropriate for you right here, right now. So rolling those shoulders back, let's nod that chin to chest for our roll downs. So slight bend in those knees, we're making our way down as if you're rolling down one vertebrae at a time, taking your hands towards your mat. If you can't reach quite there yet, that is totally fine. Just relax the face, nod the head yes and no, and then draw those abs in. Start to rebuild that spine on top of your neutral pelvis, lifting all the way up. Shoulders back and down. We've got three in total, so two more to go. Rolling down. Just waking up that spine, getting each movement through each segment, moving nicely here, rolling all the way up. Good, and we've got one more here. This time we're going to hold it down at the bottom. So peeling down. Nice hands come towards the floor. If you need to bend your knees, you're here. Let's just walk ourselves out into our four point kneel, lowering those knees down underneath your hips hands right underneath your shoulder line. So moving into a quick little cat cow, we've got three of them. So inhale, lowering the chest, eye gaze forward, tucking that tailbone under here now on your exhale, rounding through that spine, scooping those abs in. Good, inhale, passing through neutral as we find our extension. So really just work into that mobility nice and gently. It doesn't have to be extreme to start with. Let's start to make it a little bigger as we rock through to find our next cow. And then really round through that spine, push through 10 fingers here, through those palms, into the front of the feet here. Really push up and away from your mat. Good, and then come in between those two extremes to find what you think is your neutral alignment. So if you need to take a couple of little small ones and get that pelvis, into a neutral alignment. We want both hip bones here pointing straight down towards the floor. And you've got a long spine through your tailbone all the way out through the crown of your head. So you should be able to balance a tray of coffee on your back without spilling it. So right here. Good, from here, breathing in through those uh, ribs and then exhale, scooping those abs in, hold the tummy tight. Let's slide that right leg out behind you. So straight behind and then drag it back in on your next exhale. Whoop, foot cramp. <laughs> so inhale, slide the opposite leg away, and then exhale, sorry, exhale as we draw it back in. Good, so inhale, and exhale. As I do this, I'm trying not to rock through my pelvis, so really stabilizing keeping everything steady, except for obviously that moving leg. We've got one more on each side here before we take it up a notch. So just get that feeling of that disassociation of the limbs moving, everything else is steady, still as you can. Do not spill the coffee on your back. Good, this time as we take right foot away, drag it along and then lift the foot up just a little. Lengthen out through the toes. You wanna to find length through that whole entire leg. Keep those two hip bones pointing straight down. No rocking. Let's keep going. This time slide the opposite leg away, picking that leg up. Good. So lots to think about here. I'm also thinking about drawing the ribs to hips. That feeling of keeping strong through the center here because that's where the movement is coming from really. My breath, my deep stabilizers through my core and pelvis. Good, we've got one more on each side here. Doing really well. 
Good, really lengthening out through that leg. So as if you're thinking maybe as if someone's trying to pull your leg away. So really lifting up and out of that hip. Great, this time pause with those knees down, reaching that right arm forward this time. So keeping the shoulder down away from my ear and then place the hand gently back down. So left arm lifting. Good, as I do this, I'm really focusing on my scapula, so my shoulder blade positioning here. So like we learned in yesterday's class, we want to keep it flat along the back rib cage here. And you wanna keep anchored with that arm into the socket. So not reaching out through those fingers here. Think about that connection underneath your armpit. Just reaching that arm, but uh, as you keep stable through that shoulder joint. Good, we've got one more on each side. Nice, so exhale to reach through that arm. Lifting that chest a little more from the mat. So keeping that whole neutral alignment. This time, let's add them both together. So reaching right arm, sliding left leg, and let's lift it up. Good, stay strong through the center, and then bring it back down into your four point nail. Sliding the hand, sliding the foot, lifting it up. Good, drawing that belly button to spine. So keep moving here at your own pace. The most trickiest part here is usually as we transfer to the other limb, uh, hand and leg extension, so right here. So we need to make sure we're keeping as steady as we can. If you need to slow it down, please do so. Good, so exhale to reach. Inhale to come back to four point now. Nice. So I'm really pushing up and out of my supportive hand. So right here, it's my right arm. So I'm lifting up and out of that shoulder. So I'm really stabilizing underneath our shoulder blade. And then also think about squeezing that glute as you lift the leg. Nice one. We've got two more on each side here after this one. So come back into four point now. Really focus here. Do not spill your coffee at this point. You are doing so well. Think about the back of your neck staying nice and long, so my eye gaze is just looking straight down. Good, we have one last one coming up. Nice, bring it back to four point kneel. Can we reach out through that right arm and left leg one last time here, hold. From here, lowering the hand, lowering the foot, and then lifting it back up. So keep your right shoulder blade flat along your rib cage, the back of your rib cage. Think about pulling it down towards your pelvis. Pushing up and out of your left supportive arm. Really strong work through your center here. Squeezing into that left glute. We go for four more here, you can do it. Good, lifting up for three. Tapping down, we've got two. And hold this next one up on one. Take your arm and your leg away from your midline and then pull it back into midline. So here is our last little finisher on this side. We want to maintain that pelvis level. So those two hip bones pointing straight down, just those limbs waving out and in. Ooh. We have two more. Keep going guys, and we press back into a child's pose, starting to get warmth through that supportive left arm. This is it, and then lower it back down, taking your hips back over your ankles here, reaching out through those arms. Taking a couple of breaths in and out here. Good, we've got to even up the other side here now, so walking those hands out, finding that four point nail. This time it's that left arm, slide it out with your right leg and then reach out nice and long. Hold it there, palm faces down. We're tapping it down towards the floor and then lifting it back up. So again, lifting up and out of my right arm. Imagining my two hip bones here are pointing straight down. Maybe you've got two laser beams on your hip bones and you want to shine that light straight down. 
squeezing into that right glute to pick the leg up. Good, belly button strong towards your spine. We've got three more here. Got two. Lifting up for one and drawing it back in. Ready to go and reach it out. Last time here, hold. This time, taking your arm and leg out to the side, bring it back in through the center. So inhale, wave it out. Exhale, center. Good. Is your head still lifted in line with the rest of your spine? So you want the back of your neck in one continuation out through your tailbone. Think about that. We don't want to sink the head down. Don't want to sink through that shoulder. Keep everything strong. We've got two more waves. Last one. Hand comes back down and then come into your little child pose. Just for a brief second, stretch it all the way out. Lovely work so far, everyone. Let's come into a bit of air strengthening through our lateral waist. So our obliques in this one. So we want to have our knees together and bent and my heels are in line with my bottom. We're taking that elbow right underneath your shoulder line. So from here, let's just sink down. This is not where we wanna be. We wanna lift up and out of that shoulder, lifting that rib cage. Then from here, breathe out, lifting your hips up and press them forward. So you're in one long line from the crown of your head to your tailbone, so that neutral spine. From here, let's take that arm up towards the ceiling here. Taking a big inhale, and then on your exhale, let's lower that hip, lower that arm back down. Inhale. Exhale, reach the arm up as you lift the hips. Continue to reach up and over. Good, inhale to lower. Exhale, pick it up, rainbow that arm up and over. Good, so using the strength through your underside waist here, so into that oblique. So I'm getting a sense of my, uh, sorry, my waist here wrapping in even smaller as I breathe out. So purse lips as we exhale. Remember as you lower the hips here, we want to stay lifted up and out of this shoulder. We're not chilling out at the beach. Let's stay nice and active. So definitely through that waist, we're feeling it here now, but you wanna feel through that shoulder, perhaps getting a bit of warmth there. So nice one to work on that posture here as well. Good, so we wanna to continue to press those hips forward, gentle squeeze through those glutes, squeezing those knees together, thinking about those inner thighs wrapping together here as well. So full body, Woo, getting a little warmer. Almost there guys, keep going. We've got three more. We've got two. On the next one, let's hold it up, but then pause with your arm up towards the ceiling, lift up and out of that shoulder. We have little hip dips. So just working at that waist here, dropping the hips down gently, picking them back up. Ooh, feeling that fire in that underside waist here, really sculpting out that waist. Good. Nice one, we've got five. Reach up through those fingertips. We have three, two, and one. Gently lower those hips back down. You can lay on your back for some glute bridges here now. So just roll all the way down. Your feet are flat on the floor and they're hip distance apart. Toes point forward. So everything's just tracking forward like a train track and then reaching those arms down by your side. Good, let's think about opening up through those collarbones, pinning those shoulders down, rib cages sunken down. So maybe you're holding a big textbook on your rib cage, hold it there. From here, we're rocking that pelvis under, tucking under that tailbone, start squeezing into those glutes, peeling up into our bridge. Pausing at the top, squeezing into those under glutes, building that roundness through the glute here. We wanna pause and make sure both hip bones are nice and level, tummy is drawn in and then on your next exhale, rolling all the way down, nice and smoothly. So you wanna keep that control coming from that core. So rolling up. Good, think about reaching out through that tailbone, lengthening that entire spine. On your next exhale, sinking that sternum down, rib cage, middle and lower back. We've just got two more of these. 
pushing through those heels to help engage those hamstrings. Nice. So rocking up, opening up those hip flexors, reach long through those uh, knees as if they're trying to track forward and extend out even more. Rolling back down, let's hold this next one up, moving into our marching bridge. So keep those two hip bones nice and level. We're taking right leg to tabletop here. Good, placing the foot back down. Nice. Good, so you can use your breath for this one. I like to breathe in as I float the leg up and then exhale to place it down. So inhale. Exhale, can we close those ribs? Keeping that core nice and connected. Really good, starting to warm up through that supportive leg. So whichever foot's flat on the floor, really working that glute. Let's pause with that right leg to tabletop here now. Hold it there. Reach that right leg long, pull it back to tabletop. Extending, we've just got five of these. If this is too much, continue with your marching legs. You're here for two, point and reach. And for one, point and reach. Back to tabletop, place the foot back down, realign that spine, tuck that pelvis under, squeeze those glutes, lifting left leg to tabletop. Hold it there. Can we then extend that leg? Bring it back in. So five in total, hip bones pointing straight up. Two more to go. Last one, back to 90. Gently place it back down and then gently rolling all the way back down. Tailbone will be the last thing to untuck and you're right here. Okay, so come into some curls. Hands behind your head, feet are just relaxed down on the floor and separated. Breathing in, on your next exhale, lifting up the head and shoulders, lifting just the tips of your shoulder blades up. Good, inhale to rest the head back down. Peeling up on your exhale. Good, so just starting to find a little bit more height here now. So still keeping the bottom tips of your shoulder blades on the mat. Keeping contact with that back ribs into the mat and maintaining a nice neutral spine. Good one, guys. So in two, on your next one, we'll reach the arms long. So lifting up, hold it here. Extending those arms long, holding onto the back of those legs. Can we then lift ourselves up a little higher? So now all of my shoulder blades are off. Really hold it up here, really flatten those abs. So have a look, check in. Continue your breath. And then on your next inhale, take one hand behind your head, other hand behind your head, and then exhale, release it all back down. Good, so exhale, curling up, reach those arms, grab onto the back of those thighs. Can we curl up a little higher? Continuing that breath, pulling up that pelvic floor on each exhale. Taking one hand behind your head, followed by the other, keep that height of the chest and then lower yourself back down. Yes, this is where it's starting to heat up a little more. Work with me. We are almost there. We're gonna reach those arms. Here we go, pull yourself up. Big inhale, taking those hands here. Here, keep the height of that sternum up and then release. We have two more, curling up. Lifting up a little more. One hand, two hand, exhale, release. Yes, all oh, my abs, <laughs> and we're curling up and holding. Reach those arms, lift up a little more. Good job. Take those hands behind your head, keep that height, keep that height, and then gently lower all the way back down. This time, I want you just to hold your curl. So lifting up, hold. Taking one leg to tabletop, 90 degrees. Hold it there, extend one leg, well, that same leg, and then bring it back to tabletop, place it back down. So no wobbles through that pelvis as we lift up that right leg. Tabletop, extend the leg, bring it back to 90, 
place it back down. Check in with your upper body. Can you maybe lift up a little more, but keep contact of those back ribs to your mat. Good, really flatten those ribs down at the front. Really make this space here at the front really small. So we wanna crunch up, scoop that belly button in towards your spine. So inhale to lift, exhale to extend that leg long. Inhale to bring it in and lower. Good job. So if you're here with me still, doing an amazing work. If you've rested your head back and down, totally fine. You can do it here. Maybe you want to take those arms here though. Keep everything nice and neutral. I'm going to work here, so stay with me if you can. We've got about 15 seconds to go, so you can do it. <sighs> Getting that extra burn through those abs. Keep that curl, keep that breath going. We've got eight to go. And then this is it for our little abs series right here. So we keep going for four. We get one more out on each leg for two. Last one here for one. Lift that chest up a little higher. Reach those arms, palms face down. Reach those fingertips towards your heels a little more. Flatten that tummy, hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, switch off those abs. Well done, everyone, that was fantastic. From here, we're just going to move into that side plank. So I'm just going to face you. So make your way onto that right elbow. So right elbow is on your mat. Elbow underneath that shoulder line, knees are together. And remember those heels are in line with the bottom. From here, lift up and out of this shoulder, lifting those hips up and press them forward. So in that long line, neutral spine, crown of the head to my tailbone is nice and long. Taking that top hip, reach it long. Arm up towards the ceiling. And then we're lowering those hips down, taking that hand down towards the outer thigh. Breathing out as we lift the hips and then reach that arm up and over. So inhale to lower. Pick those hips up on your exhale. Good. So again, squeezing those glutes forward as we lift the hips. I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust my elbow a little bit more so I feel a bit more stable in that shoulder. Nice, so as I breathe out, thinking I've got a corset on, I'm pulling it in even tighter to just draw those sides of my waist in. So narrowing in the waist. This one is working that right oblique here, uh, particularly as I lift up. Lengthening that top waist as we reach the arm. We have five more. Good. Nice one, three more to go. Can we feel that heat starting to work? Definitely feeling it around my shoulder here as well. Let's do one more full one. Up and over, over, sorry rainbowing up and then pause with that hand up towards the sky pause in that side plank little hip dips to finish so reaching through those fingertips can we try and reach for the stars lifting those hips up and down okay we've got five four three two and one lowering those hips all the way down so good so far. Let's lay down onto our bellies here now. Then I want you to reach those arms out in front of you. Come down so your forehead just rests on your mat. From here, we're going to lift your abs up away from your mat. So I want you to be really active through those abdominals. So scooping that belly button up towards your spine here. Gentle squeeze through those glutes. Your feet are separated. Your arms are just long and rested, palms facing down. From here, I want you to squeeze into your right glute. As we lift up that leg, point and reach out through the toes. So fine length. The height doesn't matter. It's about reaching long, lowering the foot back down. Breathing out to lift the leg. Alternating from right to left, sorry. And then lowering down. Good, so my abs are nice and strong. I'm finding that lift through my glute strength. So switching on that muscle to lift the leg. So nice and simple, we're going to add on 
with just the arms here now. So rest both legs down. Rest the forehead to your floor. Can we lift that right arm up off the mat? So feel connected in around that shoulder. So we wanna keep the shoulder down away from your ear, just lifting up nice and smoothly. Glide that shoulder blade down your back as you lift the arm. One more on each side. Are your abdominals still drawn in tight? Your glutes just gently squeezing here. Lower the arm back down, this time adding them together. So like our bird dog earlier, lifting that right arm, left leg up. Strong through the center, reach out through the fingertips, reach out through those tippy toes, and then lower it back down, swap it to the other side. So gentle press down of that pubic bone into the mat will assist to find that neutral spine. Good, so we're going to pick up the pace a little more here now. So getting a little bit more dynamic, eventually turning it into our swimmer. So in five, four, we'll just continue this movement in three, but work a little quicker in two, in one, hold it up. This time little flutters through the arm and leg, opposite arm to leg. Pretend we're swimming, trying to get to the other side of the Olympic pool. Swim, swim, swim. Abs still zipping in. Continue that breath. Inhale and exhale. Really beat with those heels. Squeezing into those glutes. We have 10, nine, eight. Lifting the chest. Good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Gently lower everything down. Sit the arms down by your hips. Palms are facing up for this one. Almost there. Rest the forehead down. If you would like, you can pop a pillow underneath your forehead so you feel a bit more comfortable. From here, we're just lifting that left leg up here and then lowering it down, picking that right leg up. Nice and easy. Abs scooping in. Nice. From here, we're going to reach out through those fingertips. So really anchor those shoulder blades down, lift the chest up just a smidge and then lift that leg up. So feel that sense of someone pulling those fingertips down towards your toes. Feel that strength in the back of your legs, working into the extensors of the back here as well. Good, really connect into those shoulder blades here now. So as if you wanna try and kiss those shoulder blades together, you've got a gentle squeeze through your rhomboids, through the shoulder blades. Good, lifting up those arms, just hovering them off the mat. Good, and then we're going to kick those legs a little quicker. Can we lift the chest up a little higher, but keep those arms just hovering and still pressing them down. Good job guys, this is the last bit here on our bellies. We keep scooping those abs in. Our gaze looks down, so the back of the neck is long. Should be feeling those glutes firing. Feeling a bit of warmth and postural awareness. Can we open up through the chest a little more? Can we lift up a little more? Maybe take your eye gaze forward a little further. Good, here we are, building that heat. Kicking for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently lowering the chest down. Bring those arms forward in front of you about 90. Hands are in line with the top of your head. We're lifting that chest up. See if you can straighten those arms. And then lower yourself back down for our swan. So just stretching out those abdominals. To make it harder, we can slide those elbows back a little and then lift up. Only if this feels comfortable. So just come to that height where it doesn't aggravate your lower back. The rowing will be different. We've got two more of these. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Inhale. Alrighty guys, let's come back. Quick little child's pose, why not? <laughs> Rounding through that spine, just taking your back into that opposite direction. We're going to finish standing up into our squats. Just get that heart rate up a little. Feel like we've worked those legs here as well. So I want you to stand with both of your feet here, slightly turned out with those toes. So feet just about wider than your hips is great. From here, I want you to take those arms out and forward in front of you as you send those hips back into your squat. 
So pretend maybe you're sitting on a couch behind you. It's not there, we're standing back up. We're squeezing those glutes forward. Inhale to lower, bring those arms, reach them forward. So I want you to focus on your upper body here as well. So that awareness of keeping connected with that arm bone into the socket, keeping the shoulders down away from your ears. Good, knees, taking them wider than you think sometimes. You wanna keep them over the second and third toe at least. So press them out, keep them nice and open. Nice. Then bring your awareness to your core, it's assisting you. So using your tummy on your exhale to lift up and that control through the core on the way down. Nice, so I'll just show you from the side, let's keep this intensity going, maybe picking up that pace a little more, finding that ski slope of your spine. Can we sink down a low of those hips? Send them back. I'm gonna wiggle those toes, see if you're heavy through those heels. Good way to check in that you're working the back of your legs. Nice one. We have another five of these to go, and then we're going to hold it down. We have four. Almost finished this session, guys. Awesome work so far. We've got two and one. We're holding it down. Just hold that squat pose. Take those arms down by your hips. Float the arms back up. Inhale, exhale. Just imagine you are sitting comfortably in your couch, watching TV. Yeah, your mind can do a lot. Think about those arms just staying nice and active. That's it, doing really well. We've just got another three arm swings to go. Then you are out of this posture. We have two. Last one. Swing the arms down by your hips and stand all the way back up. And that is your full body beginner Pilates all done. So well done everyone. That was your day three of your Pilates for beginner workout all complete. So hopefully everything's starting to piece together nicely, building upon that foundation of those exercises, those skills, that, those breathing drills. If you have any comments, any feedback, or if you need me to go into detail with anything that I've mentioned already, let me know in the comments section below and I'll definitely reply and get back to you there. And then I'll entail to get that in another workout for you going forward. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm really enjoying these little beginner workouts, just stripping it right back to finding our perfect alignment so that we can get the most out of our workouts. So keep your eye out for tomorrow and one more beginner workout in this series the following day. And we are going to feel pretty amazing afterwards. Let me know how you got on and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can support my channel. It'll help grow my channel and I can keep providing these workouts to you. Also pressing that bell button to turn on your post notifications so that you can receive a notification of when I upload a new video or a new workout. So give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button as I said and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.